Hi, welcome. Welcome in this video. In this video, we're going to talk about copyright. I'm going to explain to you what copyright is and what the definition is of copyright. I'm also going to give you a couple of examples of copyright. If you have questions about this video or anything related to copyright, feel free to contact me. Let's begin. Let's talk about copyright definition. The thing is, there are a lot of definition about copyright, and in every country, is you have a different definition. For example, the definition of the U.S. is different than the definition of some country in Europe. This is because the language. In the U.S., they speak English. Sometimes, some country in Europe speak like Dutch, German, of Italy. You have a different kind of definition of copyright. The thing is. But the only thing that you really need to know about copyright is this copyright if you have a copyright on something you have the property on something the property doesn't have to be real it isn't real it's not physic but it's a property that you have it's a right that you have so if someone say I have copyright on that picture that means they have the right on the picture what is this right they are the only one the exclusive right they are the only one that are allowed to use this picture they are only one allowed to use to publish those pictures they are the only one allowed to sell those pictures so they have exclusive rights every time it's the same just read to remember copyright is just a property that you have and it's an exclusive right that you have on certain kind of things so let's look at a couple of definitions so you can see what I'm trying to say on Wikipedia you have a whole page that's explaining what copyright is and international copyright, ownership, or originality, registration, fixing. In this video we only talk about the definition. We're not going to about the background, conception, national copyright or anything. We just talk about the definition. Why you need to know the definition? Because if you do not know the definition, you do not know what you have. And that's important to know. And you do not know when you have copyright. So if you're in the US, you find this definition. If you're in the Netherlands, you have another definition. And if you're in Germany, you have another definition. Even in Italy, you have another definition. But basically, it's the same definition, but different words. They use different words because of language, also the place where the copyright is. As you can see, this is the copyright definition of the US. You can find out what they are saying about the copyright. When you Google copyright, so let's Google it. When you Google copyright, you get these kind of definitions of the results and explaining what copyright is. But the thing is, you just need to remember that copyright is a property that you have. It's not specific property, but it's a property that you have. For example, when you ask someone to design something for you, for example, a logo, they have the copyright on the logo. If you want to get those copyright, you have to say, hey, listen, transfer those copyright to me I want to have the property of the copyright because when you have the property you can do much more for example if you have a building let's say a building would you rather rent the building or would you rather buy a building when you rent the building the building is not yours you're only renting it so it's not yours you cannot do a lot when something goes wrong but when you buy it that's a different stories it's yours and you can take action in a practice I see a lot when people are hiring freelancer that they do not buy the copyright they only get the right to use the copyright. Most of the time I say to my clients, listen, you need to get those right. Why? Because when something goes wrong, you can take action. You do not have to have permission from the owner. You understand what I'm trying to say? So if you have a building, if you're renting it, when something goes wrong, you cannot take action. But if you are owner of the building, when something goes wrong, you can take action. That's the reason why I'm telling most of the people, when you let people design things for you or anything else, Make sure you have those property. And how can you do that? Simple. Just make a contract well, where they transfer the copyrights, the rights to you. So the definition of copyright is it's just a property. It's not a physical property that you can touch. It's just something that you have. It's a right that you have. And it's important when you let people design things for you or anything else that you have the property, not someone else. <laughs>
This is the end of the video. In this video, I show you what copyright is and I also give you the definition of copyright. If you have questions about this video or the tips given in this video, feel free to contact me. See you in the next video.